Hi, welcome to Biostock. Achillean is in the business of discovering and developing new drug targets aimed at reducing the burden of chronic inflammatory illnesses. For this purpose, the company has three ongoing pipeline projects, and a fourth one has just been announced. Here to tell us all about it is Achillean's CEO, Sarah Fredrickson. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you so much. Well, it's good to see you. How are you doing, Sarah? You, you've been quite busy lately. Good to see you as well. Yes, I've been busy uh, with the pipeline full of programs and financing ahead. We have been traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think that's exactly the way it should be. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us a little bit about these travels? What, what's, what's, what's the main goal here for, for attending several conferences and meetings? For me, uh, both taking part in the early uh, discovery programs, I need to freshen up and follow what partners discuss, or potential partners, of course. But also to find the long strategy for financing it requires a lot of planning and a lot of uh, traveling these days. Mm -hmm. well, well, we'll get into more in into the strategy later on. But uh, before I get into the specifics of the new program you've announced today, I'd like to take a step back for our audience and j just give our audience a, a broad overview of Achillean's pipeline. Could you tell us what does Achillean's pipeline look like exactly right now? So we have four programs, as the fourth one is announced today, and they're from very early stage, like discovery phase, and up to the lead program, the YAC1 inhibitor, the AQ280, which we're aiming for phase two, mm -hmm. beginning in the end of this year. So all the programs have been developed to address chronic inflammation or autoimmune diseases. We choose target and indication uh, and try to match that with our own skills and experience and also capabilities. Mm -hmm. But the main focus is chronic inflammation and autoimmune diseases mm -hmm. and yeah, to run them into early clinical phase, um, preferably to a proof of concept, of course, but also to be a little bit agnostic or opportunistic and to, to make deals when we can as a small biotech company. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, going then into the new program, how you, you mentioned chronic inflammatory diseases, autoimmune diseases. How does this new program fit into this equation? So we've been working within our, we call it discovery engine, uh, mm -hmm. for a couple of years looking at different targets. And we have chosen a target called PKC theta. It's a kinase, and we work a lot with kinase inhibitors. So mm -hmm. it's kind of in our home arena where we've been focusing a lot. It also focus on we also focus on how T cells uh, affect or drive inflammation. The mm -hmm. T cell biology is another focus, and this target matched that uh, specific focus area. And we see that if we can provide a, a good inhibitor, it's a small molecule drug, as we have done before, uh, it would be very interesting in chronic inflammatory diseases like uh, rheumatoid arthritis or IBD diseases. So mm -hmm. it fits very well, but it's an early stage program. And uh, yeah, we hope to be able to nominate a candidate drug within a year or so. All right, very interesting. And um, could you also tell us more about how this new program fit into your, fits into your development strategy? So by choosing, this is, um, we believe that we can, we, we're not first in class, but best in class. Mm -hmm. And to provide a small molecule that could be of interest to partners, that's always our strategy. Mm -hmm. One could say that an ideal project Projects would perhaps be from early discovery to early clinical phase, but in this case, it could also be that we run the preclinical phase and then try to find a partner. Mm -hmm. uh, and we want to have different targets mm -hmm. and targets that uh, perhaps can match several indications because that opens up the licensing arena or yeah, just deal making arena for us. So one could say that, yeah, this is an internal innovation. We've, we've been focusing within the area we've been before, so we make use of all the experience mm -hmm. and we keep dialogues with future potential partners to find out if they believe that this is an interesting target. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's the that's the strategy uh, for this program as well. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can't disclose this, but I, I am a little bit curious about whether these, these past meetings or, or conferences 
uh, you've been able to discuss a little bit about this new target that, or this new program that you're uh, that you're launching today. So very early, but I think the next big step will be that we will present the program at the Bio Conference in San Diego in a month. Mm -hmm. So then we will probably that will be the first really hard test. We've been testing within our own, uh, yeah reference groups and so forth. But this will be a presentation openly at the bio, which will be very interesting and uh, mm -hmm. see what we can come home with uh, mm -hmm. for comments or, or interest in the program. I'm definitely looking forward to, to the feedback there. Uh, so why is now the right time to bring this new program forward? So we saw that we have the uh, uh, regulars program moving into phase two. The, uh, or I should say AQ280, we're trying to change the name to the mm -hmm. drug candidate. And then we have the AQ312, which is closing up to an IND enabling talks. Mm -hmm. And then we thought that we wanted something early and focus on that. And since we have great results from the discovery group, we decided, well, it's a good time now. So that looking at Achillean as an investor or for future financing rounds, we want to have more than one program. We want to be a little bit uh, diverse in the pipeline so that we don't work within, let's say, one target or, or one group of, um, or one specific inflammatory disease, for instance. So you could have a disease focus, you can have a platform focus, but we have kind of chosen target an indication and if there is an interest um, in the business, that is a go for us. So it, that's, the reason behind the timing. The mm -hmm. program is mature enough to stand alone and we want to show it to others and then it's a good time to show it in the pipeline as mm -hmm. well. Well, I am a, also a little bit curious about your financing strategy for yes. this new program. Could you tell us a little bit about that? So we are now looking at financing the whole pipeline mm -hmm. and we've been talking a little bit, I think, both in the biostock um, interviews and from a Killian point of view that an IPO could be one of those routes to find financing or funds to fund a pipeline of program. And we've been taking part in the Six Academy in Switzerland to find out what it's like there if you want to list your company and also in Sweden. And I think now our focus is that uh, an IPO in Sweden is the most probable mm. route forward if and then we keep a lot of doors open, of course. It's it's hard to disclose, mm -hmm. but that's one of my main focus right now. Yeah, And that is then to finance the pipeline uh, as it is right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And very speculative, of course, but do you know if, if an IPO were to happen, when it might happen? So I would say within a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's yeah, still not a statement. It, no, it's sure. my my best guess. Yeah, very exciting nonetheless. Well, uh, just to round things off, moving forward, what can we look forward to from Achillean? So we are looking forward both uh, in the near time to show re really great results from the AQ280 and AQ312 program in Washington next week. Mm -hmm. And it's the DDW week, and that's exciting. And also the bioconference, for instance. And then just to get started with a phase two program uh, in uh, patients with eosinophilic esophagitis uh, in the end of this year. That is, mm -hmm. I think, the main focus. And then, of course, financing, yeah. uh, as always, for many of the companies like Achillean. Sure. Yeah. Well, a lot of uh, exciting things coming up. Uh, we're looking forward to, to following Achillean. And thank you so much, Sarah, for, for dropping by the studio today. Thank you for having me.